Hey guys, I uh, hope you had a good weekend. Uh, should be you should be receiving this on Monday. You should also have a document that I'm gonna share with you that um, that shows you how I want you to turn in your animation assignment. And today we're moving on. Uh, so um, let's do that. I want to show you two artists today. And today I'm gonna ask you really just to kind of look at these artists, learn about their work and study, uh, I, I've got two short videos about them, and then I'd, I'd love for you to visit their, well, one of them has a website, the other one uh, does not have a website, but let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first artist I wanna share with you, I, I've mentioned before, uh, his name is Raku Inouyu, I believe is how you pronounce his name. I have a very cool uh, video that I'm going to share with you uh, where, he, where he just kind of talks about his path. Uh, but for now, I just want to kind of take you through his website a little bit. So this is his mu much more complicated work. I just want to show you kind of what's feasible. So we're going to go ahead and go into this section as part of his portfolio. Uh, so this was work that he created for a magazine called Craft in America. Uh, it's one of my favorite magazines. Uh, just kind of about makers but if you look at this closely you can see kind of his materials um, you know it's rose petals there are uh, carnations make the outside of this uh, these are parts of ferns I think um, the only part of this uh, tiger that he's created that I, I don't think is uh, from nature are the eyes but everything else is just pretty amazing uh, so we'll go through, just look at some more of his work. Again, when I look at this piece, and I, this is kind of what I would like for you to do, I just want you to look at it and think about, like, how did he do it? What are the, you know, what are the parts and pieces made up of? Again, this looks like carnations. I think those might even be, uh, some of those leaves are um, leaves from the carnation plant, I think. Um, it's pretty it's pretty amazing I'm not sure who that man is uh, but let's go ahead I want to show you another part of his website uh, so I've gone back to his um, portfolio and I just want to scroll down to his insects because these are this is kind of where we're gonna go with our assignment or this will be an option for you uh, so here this is gonna be a short video this is actually the one I'm gonna share with you uh, it just talks about kind of his process and how he goes about doing what he does. Uh, but I'm going to ask you to create one of these insects. I'll actually walk you through uh, one or two with some tutorial videos uh, just to kind of help you kind of figure out some direction. Uh, but just want to show you a few of these. Uh, love how he uses color. These are all different parts of plants. Um, I, I think he cuts them a little bit, but I think also he finds kind of these natural shapes. Um, but, but yeah, they're just they're pretty awesome, I think. So we're going to be creating something like this uh, eventually. We're going to start simple and kind of work our way towards these uh, more complicated things. Uh, but you can see it was featured in National Geographic magazine as well. Um, what's interesting in the video that you watch, he'll say uh, he didn't realize how popular these insects would be, but I think they've kind of um, made a career for him. Um, so... All right, so this is one of the artists that I want you to look at today. I'm going to bounce over to another artist. Uh, he does not have a website. I think part of it is because he's um, he's kind of an older artist. Uh, he was born in the 50s. So this video is going to show you him creating this. Uh, it's one that it might seem boring at the beginning, but you stay with the video because uh, this thing that he makes kind of coming out of that waterfall is is pretty amazing and watching you get to see a little bit of his process how he does it uh, now let me show you some of his work so again his name is Andy Goldsworthy he's from uh, Scotland um, the other fellow Raku Inouye I think I think originally is from Japan but I th I'm pretty sure now he lives in the in the States or possibly in Canada um, so yeah so this is Andy Goldsworthy um, this is an older piece but just love it I mean so simple um, but he, you know, he had to spend time, this is not painted or anything like that. Those are all leaves that he just kind of foraged and found, uh, let's show you some more of his work. Um, what's amazing is like, so a piece like this, 
he'll build and then it doesn't go in a museum or anything like that. The only way that we know that it existed was he takes uh, really nice photographs of it. Um, but yeah, he sticks these, and most of the time he doesn't use uh, artificial materials. So he's sticking these sticks together with thorns or with the sticks themselves. Uh, I've watched videos of him before where he'll be working on something and it will just collapse because uh, it's all natural materials. Um, so everything that he has is found. I believe his uh, medium of art is called land art. I think that's what this is called. Um, but yeah, this is what he's done for his entire career. And he's worked, I would say, for more than 40 years, possibly longer. Um, I like this photograph. If you look closely here at the bottom, you can see the sticks that he used to kind of pin these leaves to the ground so that they wouldn't blow away uh, as he created this piece. But it's kind of it's pretty cool. Uh, here's one. I've watched him work on pieces like this before. So he would actually like pick these icicles from, you know, wherever he happens to be. And then he'd like chew on them with his teeth to get them at the right angle. And then, uh, the warmth from his mouth would actually cause them to melt a little bit. So then he could stick them back together. Um, it's, it's pretty unreal. Anyhow, uh, so yeah, just today I want you to watch the videos and I want you to kind of just look at these artists, find a piece that you like. If you want to try to emulate one, if you want to try to create a version of an Andy Goldsworthy or uh, Inouye, uh, I, I welcome you to do it, uh, but it's not. I'm not asking you to do that today. I'll just show you a few more Goldsworthies. So again, here's one I'm looking at and I'm like, how did he do that? I'm pretty sure these are all bird's feathers that he split in half. And then, you know, just kind of carefully placed in an interesting way visually. Um, but yeah. All right. So that's where we're going to stop for today. Uh, like I say, today I just want you to kind of look at the artists, learn about the artists. Uh, if you want, if you're inclined to like, I want to try making one of these rock things or I want to try making a bug, uh, you're welcome to do that. But you do not, that's not part of today's assignment. So thanks for watching. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon.